This chapter begins with the following three quotations. I just want the future to happen faster. I can't imagine the future without robots. Nolan Bushnell. When I went into robotics, I really loved motion. People are used to clunky robots, and when you make it appear to be realistic, people either love it or they're freaked out. Silas Adekunle. When the robot mind is mastered, undisciplined thinking ceases and is replaced by awareness. Awareness can know love very long. Professional builder. Robotics engineer in training. Next time somebody asked me what I do, they then said to themselves, or where I work, I want to be prepared. Robotics. Show enough. This is going to be a full-time job. Most deaf. So if they ask where I work specifically, I can just tell them it's classified. People always need to know your business so they can validate your existence. Confirm they know exactly what you're up to and put you in a place and keep you there. Or even worse still, sabotage it, subsume it, hobble you. Zoe did that. The ex-colonizer. Sometimes they would have to call her that to put things in a proper perspective so they could digest and lean into the next day or the next event that Zoe would ultimately always trigger. Jobless jobs. It's been another strange development from this timeless time, also known as the pandemic. It's been a strange effect from the change, the timeless time. Before the timeless time, everyone had a job. But now that everything's become a jobless job, all change. Well, that is except for the specials. The specials still have jobs. The socials. Sometimes they came from money or power. Sometimes inheritance. Sometimes luck. Sometimes hookups and plugs. Guy bless. They them always thought of themselves as more punk rock than not. Not religious about it, just spiritual. No real discipline there. But the more responsibilities that were piled on top of their spirit body, their workaday plate, the further away they drifted from the shore of any punker life or ideas. Changes unearthed out of a grossly imbalanced sense of duty. Even now, when they have the odd conversation with the odd traveler, visitor, friend of a friend, who trumpets their ideals and showers them with praise of themselves and their own integrity, once they would scratch the surface, they could see how much others mostly adhere to the governing plans to keep the populations docile, striving to either control or be controlled and keep tattletailing and keep earning or poaching and working, either way working, working and earning through barter or theft, grifting, opportunism, whatever the F. The more the past becomes the present and slips into the future, human nature doesn't change all that much. Yes, the seeming is that our default gear is cynicism, thievery, cowardice. 
that there is no honor among thieves, but they them knew the deeper truth from their in-depth meditations, that at the heart of a human's nature, spirit, is pure goodness. This can be coaxed back out, taught, encouraged. This is our true life force, lifeblood. And this was the life raft that they them clung to, like a lost love that they would never let out of their sight again. Of course, they were excited about this ice cream social that they had planned with Lenny. And what's so great about the ice cream machines is that they grind real loud so that confidential conversation can be that much easier. They wanted to get some building block. They wanted to get some building blocks in place for the bot beforehand, literally and metaphorically. They didn't want to have to depend on Lenny's ideas or needs as much as they wanted to help her and would certainly do so. They needed to have things in place for themselves. Yeah. All right. So that's the deal, they thought to themselves. And a good deal it is. Gonna start this right now. Gonna demystify it for myself right now. I've done enough research. It's time to make it happen. All I'm really looking at here is a way to control the device's actions manually. Make it humanoid enough that it's not freaky. It can give and receive a little bit of sensory feedback, process some information. So what I'm looking at is simple here. It's an ABC and one, two, three thing, and I can build this. Now all I simply need to do is draw it out, right? Draw it out without a vision. The people and the humanoids perish. And I don't want that. So I'll create a little sketch. So I'll create a little sketch. Draw it out. The next thing I want to do is make a little model, 3D. And then I can even manufacture the parts. Now, I don't have to build everything. I can get my hands on a 3D printer one way or another and add some hardware to it. Get, get the electronic components that I need and put it together. The last little bit is just to upload the code. Bing, bang, boom. There it goes. Now, we'll have to take a little trip to the adult store just so I can get at that real beautiful face. And I don't know how Lenny's gonna take that. I'm hoping she'll work with this arrangement. It doesn't weird her out too much. Post-pandemic times, they're a timeless time. So we gotta do what we gotta do to make it through. So that's the plan. They knew they were running late to the ice cream social with Lenny. And, and they didn't want to run and get all sweaty and anxious. So they did their best to get there as soon as they could. They saw Lenny in the doorway to the ice cream store and they saw that she had already bought them some ice cream. Looked like vanilla with caramel flourish up top. Nice combination of the practical and the fanciful. They knew this was going to be a really good talk and an even better day. <laughs>